Hi everybody, I'm Varun Gwalani. And I'm Pranika Sharma. And this is the reading room. Welcome. Today we will be discussing the first episode of the novel year, which is Welcome to 2020. So in yes. that spirit, welcome to the reading room and to 2022. <laughs> stuck in a time loop, aren't we? We are stuck in a time loop and we hate it. <laughs> <laughs> we do. <laughs> um, so yes, it's the start of a new year and start of something different that we're doing. With but it's Canada. but the new year is not different. So so, so we are discussing. Uh, we're doing a throwback post on a throwback year. <laughs> right. So our first story, as Varun said, is called "Welcome to 2020." Varun, why don't you tell uh, our readers a short summary of? Um, what the story is all about. All right, so Welcome to 2020 follows an artist who has been living up in the mountains for four months mm -hmm. at the beginning of 2020. Mm -hmm. And then she decides to go into this small town near her for a gallery opening. Yeah. So in case the implications aren't clear to you yet, she has been staying away from civilizations during the months during which the pandemic has begun. So she goes into the into this town, not realizing that the entire world has changed around her in those four months that she was in there. And it follows sort of her literal journey through the entire town as she tries to figure out what the hell is going on and what is what is happening around her. That that is pretty much. It. Yes, I think that was a very well put together summary. Lots of um, a very nice introduction to our very first character, uh, and I want to just dive right into it and ask Warren, what was unique about this character? So think think of a think of a stranger in a strange land story, right? You uh, think of like say say a human being who's going to an alien planet. Right. You identify with the human being because you are sort of going to a different culture, a different place. And they are then and then you're sort of examining your own culture through the lens of theirs. Right. That's a standard story. The, the thing is, this time it is it is a human. Uh, it is someone. Uh, the protagonist is going to a society. The, that is different and you identify with the society because, because you now know what that society is like. Not only that, you identify with the protagonist, a past version of you identifies with the protagonist. So it's essentially the story is taking you in sort of a time loop yourself, uh, taking you taking a blast from the past uh, of four months, of four months in which the whole world changed. Right. You get to experience firsthand all the weird, wacky, crazy changes that have been happening during the start of the pandemic. And you've not even realized the significance of them. And that sort of show that sort of brings into stark relief through that character, how the world has changed all around us without us even realizing it and helps to sort of bring that to you to light in your own mind. That's right. I think uh, it essentially puts the new normal into uh, what we've adopted. Yeah, like uh, what was the normal and how we've sort of changed into that and transitioned so easily that I, I mean, it was um, it it happened quickly. So that sort it, of it happened quickly. But uh, if if you'll see the rest of the series, it's not easy. <laughs> there is not. <laughs> There's not a lot of easy in it. Yeah, not at all. Uh, not not at all. Uh, but Varun, so we have a very interesting character here who starts mm. off off the grid essentially, and then comes into discovering that people are wearing masks, people are sanitizing constantly, maintaining social distance, and she's always identified with the world as being slightly offbeat or crazy in a way she doesn't understand the world the way it is and now the way it has become is very different so what were what were your challenges what was what were the challenges you faced while writing such a character and sort of having her in this scenario 
so the challenge so much so uh, it's not that she uh it's not that she doesn't identify with the world around her she thinks she's better than the world around her let's put it that way she she thinks that <laughs> she has uh she thinks she has a a line on the world that nobody else has so to speak she she knows more about it than anybody else right so that is why when she comes into this town she sort of stumbling around and she doesn't uh, bother to ask she doesn't bother to admit her ignorance but instead she makes up wild ideas and theories and beliefs to justify her knowing more than anyone else that is the core the is the core part of her identity that she is different quote and quote right yeah. and she doesn't want i mean she she can't even comprehend the fact that she is anything less than that so that that is something that is very important to her uh, i wouldn't say this character was a challenge because um, so the character itself wasn't a challenge it was more the fact that you had to bring in a perspective of hers that uh, that led to a reexamination within the reader and for that i had to reexamine it myself right so i had to reexamine things that were so strange in life and then go back and think hmm this will be funny this will be ridiculous this will be absurd because essentially is that it's it's the beginning of an absurdist comedy that has become a reality right because because yeah. you have a fighting with people over toilet paper in the in the store you you have people screaming about bill gates in the constitution in public and nobody's batting an eye right so this sort of thing has now become a life and how and how do you bring that in while at the same time not making it seem ridiculous exactly and i i guess well the situation the way it is and the way it turned out to be from the beginning of 2020 um really put helped with that perspective and helped i i guess for readers as well it will become something that is extremely relatable because you know it's something that they've been through now so yes definitely okay Uh, I think that was a very interesting perspective into our character as well as our stories. We do not want to give a lot of spoilers away to most of our audiences, uh, but I want to ask a last question uh, because this is very interesting. Varun, why don't you tell me what what your inspiration for this story was? Where did you get inspired? So, uh, during the pandemic, I became something of what is called a doom, doom scroller. Which, is, which means I was reading articles and updating things constantly. My followers loved me. Um, so the there was this one really interesting article that I read, uh, which was about this Canadian, I think, hikers who had left their phones and the laptops and everything behind, and they had gone into the mountains for this trek for about two weeks or so, completely cut off from the world. and when they came back they sort of saw everyone wearing masks and they were baffled and they were like what the hell is going on and so when pranika approached me with this idea and uh, of this scope of writing a covid series that was the first that was the first one the, i mean that was a story that i knew had to be the beginning right because it sort of set the tone and it sort of set the absurdity of it. those hikers at the end of that story said that you know i'm just we're just going to take supplies and go back because there's no way we want to live in this world like i feel you bro yes definitely i mean uh we did have this uh i mean we when we had this discussion uh, varun told me about it and i found it i didn't believe him to be honest <laughs> i was like this is not possible i'm sorry what are you saying and yeah, then i went this, and this how a lot of our conversation start me saying something for i don't believe in me <laughs> and then he's sending me proof about it yes it's pretty much uh but yes oh well maybe you can uh post a couple of those stories on your instagram and you know definitely and to people can read and marvel at it too <laughs> Yes, definitely. But that was the first story of the reading room. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Thank you very much, and stay tuned for more of such conversations that are coming. Yeah, in a 
join us next time for our next story. Uh, Pranika, what is our next story? Pandambic. <laughs> Pandambic, yes. <laughs> that is another very relatable term. Very. Hope uh, you enjoyed this. Thank you very much. Thank Bye, you very everyone. Much.